The average speed of a moving object can be calculated using a particular equation. Note that we're talking about the average speed. So an object might be going fast at one moment and then slower at a next moment. But the average speed over the distance that it covers would be somewhere in the middle. So how do we remember the equation? Well, before we do the equation, let's look at the second part of this flashcard. Speed is usually measured in metric units of what are the two here that we usually use for metric uh, units of speed? Well, the metric units of speed would be, for example, meters per second, or we could use kilometers per hour. Now, I've written them as fractions like this. Sometimes you'll see them just written like this most of the time, meters per second. It means the same thing. But if I write them like this, it actually helps us to work out the equation because speed is in units of meters per second. Well, meters, that's a measurement of the quantity called distance or length. So that's distance traveled. And seconds, well, that's a quantity called time, time taken. And this per is a division sign, meters per second. So immediately we can actually write our equation as average speed equals distance traveled per or divided by time taken. Now if you want to put this into symbols you could say that uh, speed equals distance over time. But looking at the units just gives us the answer straight away. So don't need to remember some funny triangle which a lot of people get wrong. Just look at the units. Ask yourself what units is speed measured in? Ah, meters per second, distance per time. That's your equation.